It's important to understand that there are many forms of plagiarism. The most obvious example is direct or cut and paste plagiarism, which means content from the original source has been copied word for word, sometimes even entire assignments with no changes. It's okay to use quotes from other works, but you have to make sure to use correct punctuation and provide a reference or citation to the original source to indicate you are using a quote. More on this later. Closely related to direct plagiarism, quick change plagiarism involves copying most of the content from another source, but adding in some additional connecting or keywords to change the structure of the sentence. If you rewrite another author's ideas completely in your own words, you still need to provide a citation to the original work to avoid paraphrase plagiarism. Even if you include citations, patchwork plagiarism can occur if you combine content from multiple sources without adding enough of your own original thoughts. Speaking of your own thoughts, you can also plagiarize yourself if you resubmit an older assignment in another class. You need to come up with original ideas for every assignment in every class. Since the point of an assignment is to explore your own ideas, purchasing an assignment online or paying someone to write the paper for you is plagiarism. Just because you own the paper does not mean you own the ideas. Incorrect, incomplete, or fake references will also lead to accusations of plagiarism. It's also important to remember that plagiarism can be intentional or accidental. Either way, you face the same consequences, so you need to be diligent when using other sources in your works.